singing solo is impressive enough, but these bands bring all their vocal talents together, and they do it really, really well. More than words to show you feel. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 rock vocal harmonies. Carry on my way, for this list, we've looked at all rock songs irrespective of era that include or are built around a vocal harmony. Take a load off, baby. As always, however, only one song per group is allowed. There's a new kid in town. You isn't the right Number 10, Go Your Own Way, Fleetwood Mac. A harmony all the more impressive because of the context in which it's sung, Fleetwood Mac's Go Your Own Way is a breakup song that beats all others. You can go your own way, go your own way. With lyrics penned by band frontman Lindsey Buckingham about the breakdown of a relationship he shared with bandmate Stevie Nicks, when the pair sing together for the iconic chorus, it's shiveringly good. A simple harmony as well, it invites us all to sing along with them. Number 9. No Excuses, Alice in Chains. It's Arguably one of the biggest bands to emerge out of the Seattle grunge scene, Alice in Chains achieved an indisputably unique sound with our next song. Lane Stanley and Jerry Cantrell pair together for a performance that vibrates through the listener, seeming to linger in our ears just a little bit longer. Lyrics that tackle Stanley and Cantrell's musical relationship, as well as the former's drug addiction, there's an airy, echo-like feel here, and an intense intimacy generated by the shared vocals. And if we change, well, I love you anyway. Number 8, Lion Eyes, Eagles. City girls just seem to find out the Eagles have an especially good ear when it comes to vocal harmonizing, and we might have included New Kid in Town next, the new kid in town. but instead we've looked at Lion Eyes. A Grammy Award winning record, Glenn Frey took lead vocals for Lion Eyes, but was brilliantly backed up by the rest of his band. She rushes to his arms, they fall Lyrics are a linear story detailing the rise and fall of a young woman who cheats on her aging partner, with the major harmonies occurring on every chorus. You can't hide your line By the end of this song, everybody's joining in. Number 7. Because. The Beatles. Most songs on today's countdown feature a vocal harmony, but this song simply is a vocal harmony. Because the world is right. John Lennon, Paul McCartney, and George Harrison come together for this track unlike any other, turning relatively basic, literal lyrics into an incredibly haunting, strangely surreal experience. A rare Beatles song to use three singers throughout its entirety because steered the vocal harmony into an alternative direction and remains a standout record for a band whose back catalog is never likely to be beaten. Dream, 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 dream. Number 6. All I Have to Do is Dream. The Everly Brothers. When I want you, 
in my arms when I want you. A song that scored a U.S. chart position for four separate acts across four straight decades between the 50s and the 80s, the Everly Brothers originally took it to number one in 1958. Another record entirely harmonized, the image of Phil and Don Everly sharing a single microphone whilst performing is one of the most enduring pictures of early rock and roll. I need you so that I could die, I love you so. The pair pull together for a unique sound that's almost instantly recognizable and infinitely playable. Dream. Number 5, Bohemian Rhapsody, Queen. As if Freddie Mercury's voice wasn't sensational enough on its own, and there are some spectacular solos in this song alone, when Queen come together, they really know how to nail it. I see a little silhouette of a man. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the bandango? Many of the harmonies in Bohemian Rhapsody are actually too complexly overdubbed to perform live. Thus, the iconic kaleidoscope video accompaniment. A record that features on the 1975 album, A Night at the Opera, that's exactly what this song sounds like. It's an epic. Number 4, Sweet Judy Blue Eyes, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. It's getting to the point where I'm no fun anymore. An exceptionally complex composition, the beauty about our next record is that it creates a jammin' with your friend's feelings. Something inside is telling me that I've got your secret. Sweet Judy Blue Eyes is another epic, measuring in at 7 minutes and 28 seconds, and with lyrics written by Stephen Stills following his breakup with fellow musician Judy Collins. However, there's a relaxed go with the flow kind of vibe, achieved largely by its scattered style of harmony. Asking me, saying she's so free. How can you catch the sparrow? A feature that became a trademark for the trio, it's an arm around the shoulder for a friend in need, and a mighty fine record. Number 3, The Sound of Silence, Simon and Garfunkel. Hello darkness, my old friend, I've come to talk with you again. Another example of an eerie harmony. From because open to close, this song is Simon and Garfunkel at their goosebump inducing best. In restless dreams I walked alone, narrow streets of cobblestone. With lyrics detailing mankind's inability to communicate with one another, especially when it's most vital to do so, it proved the duo's first hit and a foundation for their legendary careers. People talking without speaking, people hearing without listening. The opening line allegedly came to Simon when, as a boy, he used to use the acoustics of his bathroom to practice singing, with the lights switched off. Of silence. All the leaves are brown, All the leaves are brown and the sky is gray. Number two, California Dreamin', The Mamas and the Papas. A song taken from an album called If You Can Believe Your Eyes and Ears, there's no hiding what you're hearing here. Probably the most well-known record ever released by the Mamas and the Papas, California Dreamin' has been a staple summer soundtrack ever since the mid-60s. Well, I got down on my knees, and I pretend to pray. The 
lyrics were written by vocalists John and Michelle Phillips during a cold New York winter, but they're applicable to most any listener who has a hankering for sunshine. And music doesn't get much more hummable than this. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Good Vibrations, Beach Boys. I'm picking up good vibrations. She's giving me the excitations. Has there ever been a more aptly named piece of music? Good Vibrations is a song unlike anything else before or since, thanks in large part to the liquid harmonies around which it is built. A record remembered by Beach Boys frontman Brian Wilson as the summation of his musical vision, it's a high-pitched pulling together of one of the most influential bands the world has ever seen. And we're with them for every um bop bop and na na na. These vibrations aren't just good, they're the greatest. So, do you agree with our list? Which harmony have we forgotten? For more top tens to sing along to published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. <laughs>